Guys, this is no revelation or anything like that, just me sharing something, but don't you find it ironic that people feel like they can preach to you, they can teach to you, they can teach to you, <laughs> they can preach to you, teach you all these things, but yet they can't receive a word from you? Hmm. How is it that you expect me to receive from you? You can teach me, you can teach me the word, you can preach the word, but they can't accept the word from you. God can't use you. God can't use you to, to bring a revelation. How is that possible? How is that possible? And so basically you're telling me that you're teaching and you're preaching about a limited God. Because then if he can't use somebody else outside of you, if he can't use somebody else outside of your church or outside of your ministry, then your God is limited, right? Wow, that's a messed up car. Um, that means your God is limited. And if your God is limited, then your teaching and preaching is not. So, you know, guys, let's let's cut that stuff out. Let's cut that stuff out. A lot of people want to put uh, patents on God and, you know, all these type of things. And you don't. God is going to use whoever he wants to use in whatever environment to reach who he wants to reach. Because truth be told, there's a lot of people that were in church that's no longer in church on account of the foolishness that's happened in church. So now people got to go out there and get them. People got to go out there on their level and get them. You understand? God is using people in the last days. Listen, God is saying he's pouring out his anointing. Listen, he's pouring out his spirit on all men, not certain men, not certain scholars and certain individual on all men. Young men, young women, everybody's going to be dreaming. Well, not everybody, but those who pour his spirit out is going to be dreaming dreams, having visions, prophesying, doing the things of God. And we're seeing that. We're seeing that. But I think we have a lot of people that some, well, certain people, they just don't like that. They like to be what? Depended on. You like to be the one and only. You like to be, well, it's just us and no one else. God don't operate like that. I always refer back to the story where Jesus' disciple came up to him to tell him that, I want to say John the Baptist's or somebody else was baptizing people or casting out devils in the name of Jesus, something like that. And they, they would try to stop them. And God said, no, why would you stop them? If they're preaching, if this is all about the Father's business and they're preaching the things of God, then they are for us, not against us. So we need to get to that point. People talking about God, stop and, and preaching his word and teaching his word. Let them do it. Stop trying to hold people back because of your own personal opinions of how you think it should be done and how this can't be God. Why? Isn't he the God of the impossible? And there's certain people you believe it's impossible for them to know God. It's impossible for them to hear from God. But he specializes in the impossible. So he can use the impossible person that you think it's impossible for him to use. Mm, cut it out, guys. Whatever they get down to, people want following. People want money. And people want to put, like, restrictions on God. Mm-mm. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. So... Yeah. All right, guys, just want to share that. Don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Peace out.